Assalamu alaikum. This is Ghulam Mustafa. You can see on my screen, this is 3D view. I made this one drawing complete using Revit. I made their schedule for room, first floor, ground floor with dimensions. Also, I made ceiling layout. Then you can see 3D, this camera view internal, many views and you can see this one other view. After that, I made this elevations, left, right, front, then sections. After that, I made rendering. This is 3D view. This is camera view internal. This is other view with lights, floors. And after that, I made the work through. Then I made, this is the sheets you can print, room schedule, ground floor, first floor, elevations, these all things I made. I have actually, this is AutoCAD drawings. I import this AutoCAD drawing into the Revit and I complete made this training for Revit for beginners. So here full complete training from layout, 3D, elevation sections. So let's start. You can see I will show you how I made this all drawings, all things. So we have this AutoCAD drawings. You can see I have this ground floor. This is first floor. These drawings I will bring here in that rivet and will draw the 3D. So what you will do in AutoCAD drawings. You have to remove first each and everything, just keep the walls. Like this, I select, delete, select, delete. This is ground floor, here entrance. After entrance, this main entrance, this rooms, stairs and rooms there. So you have to delete all dimensions, all these writings. Keep it like this one. And also you have two drawings, ground floor, first floor. Make two drawings separate. I have just one drawing here, ground floor. I remove each and everything, just keep the walls. And this is first floor. After that, save as should be if you have AutoCAD 2021 and Revit have I have 18. So then you have to save this one below version like 17. Save as up to 17. I will open this Revit. When you open the rivet, it will be show like this screen. You have projects, you have families. Project mean you will draw and make project like this one. Family mean component like tables, furnitures, each and everything. If you want to create, this is called family. So normally when you start project, you will see here some templates. If not there, you can click new. <coughs> go browser. It will be go in your PC. If you click here you see pro, uh, drive C program data Autodex revert template. If you can click on the template, you'll found here this one too meters and in foot and inches. So I click meters if you not found here. So you can download and install in your PC. Normally, when you have new version, it's not there, you have to install, uh, download. So, how you download? Just go in the YouTube. Just click here my channel GMG Design. This one click here. You will find this my channel. Click here. Any my video before please also subscribe my channel. Just click any video. When you open the any video, then just go in the description. Like here, you will see here. Download revert template and families just click there you will found here all template i have 2018 i put 2018 here this is all template here in meter foot and meter download and install if not library you need also you can also download library but if your pc laptop you have at uh, river 2020 or 23 just click here change 23 enter it will see here coming 23 so all here related to 23 so they have chinese other all language just go there you can find it related to your language okay i will choose here fault metric click here 
it will be again open you will see front rivet will be open front of you you see this one here this is the rivet this is the interface this area you have to work this one two three four like cameras view north east south west this is all view you have to draw here because you will see valuation from that side right side you have project browser this very important this is here when you click here it will be show the floor plans here ceiling plans here elevations north east west then you will see the here other things sheets 3d everything is very important and other side you will found properties what does mean property when you will draw here property will come here by mistake if you have to delete this one for example you want to looking so just go here top in the view then go user interface click here it will become again in the top you have here same safe 3d view you can see here this is normally first you have architecture structural system insert annotate in the architecture you have walls doors windows component column each and everything you will we will use this one and draw our drawings so here you have structure related no need here also mmp related no need annotate mean dimension when you will make dimension you have to use this one in the last panel modify this is important when you will draw here anything this panel will be used just like move copy rotate trim alignment all will be command used from here okay so we'll go here architecture this drawings which we have in the autocad this ground floor i will bring this drawing to here in the autocad and will be make 3d so what you will do you have to first select the unit click u n in your keyboard just type u n it will window come like this so then click on the length change the unit we have to meter we will choose meter because our autocad rang in the meter i click here like this so you have choose uh, change the unit so we change the unit then we'll see our drawings we have ground floor first floor then we have ground first third floor will make roof and here will make small room which called annex so it's mean three floor so i will go there again i will choose here north or east any one i will choose east for example so we have two levels here will be ground floor here first floor then have roof stair so i make two more level so you have then you have create go to in the architecture click level then you have here 4 meter see 0 4 meter will keep our building height 4 meter each floor after 4 meter just click here and just choose this one when you choose it will be appear blue line above just click it will be coming so again just select this one click it will become like this so we have four levels then you have to go again to the level 1 so here if you see before level 1 level 2 now we have level 1 2 3 4 it's mean this is from ground floor to first floor first floor to roof then we have annex so we will bring here our ground floor this is autocad files so i will go here in the insert file files click insert go here import cat then choose your file i have this ground floor if you see this is ground floor select ground floor then you have to check here color no need layers all unit not auto you have to select what your unit meter here should be center to center then this ground floor on the level 1 so i will choose level 1 click here okay your drawing will be coming here see your drawing came already here so now we will go in the architecture use the wall we will draw the walls after draw the walls we will bring the second floor so i click here in the walls when you click walls this coming architecture walls and structure walls just click structure wall after that you have this window what you will choose first you select the height you draw the wall from the ground floor up to first floor so choose here from ground to level 2 then you have to choose here 
you will draw here wall so what you will draw in the center line or you will draw in the exterior face or interior i will use center line for example then here you have many walls if you see here this is wall wc many type walls so i can choose here any wall for example i will choose this generic 20 i select here i will draw now walls so see when mouse coming here center line appear automatically this blue one just click here and drag like this go here continue up to here but not click here just center after center go like this up to here up to here center then go again up to here then go again up to here see here here will be appear center line then go that side center like this quickly we will make this walls i put here then you have from here center up to this center target the uh, doors just continue complete like this then scape again select here up to here again from here up to continue up to end again click here up to here this wall from here up to continue up to here so this walls from here just draw the wall above like this then skip again select here center up to here center again from center up to here again from here up to this center so if you see quickly i will make also from center here up to this center this center this center this center okay i complete all walls here if you see i draw then you can click here you can change the view here if i click here here coming our graphic uh, visualize just wireframe shaded for others i will put shaded see this is shaded we already draw wall on this one so you want to see in the 3d just go there home here's 3d just click there you will see this 3d you can change here realistic view see this is 3d here we have stair and this is all 3d we draw just go again here first floor we will draw the doors and windows so what you will do just go in the doors when you click there is door coming in the river automatically one door automatically coming but if one to other type you have to click here load family when you click in the load family front of you this is coming like this just click here go in the library this is library when you go in the library it will be show usa metric and this one if i have not showing as i told you go there you can in my channel download the from this link gmg design go any video revert related bottom you have to here download and install then it will become in your pc so we have meter i will click here go in the doors i will click door here have all doors residential if you click here here you can see door so here i can choose one door for example this door i can choose open after open which i need door one meter this one i click here it will be coming here door but see here if i go my drawings my doors here i will see the dimension this doors from here to here is one meter see one meter so i can bring door already here i will click here edit type files go there this will be window open see width 90 so our have 1 meter so 1.0 height you can put 2.2 up to you so in this window just click on the edit no need to change anything just width and height and apply ok and this door just bring your mouse on the drawings you have this drawing i make zoom like this see door will be coming here automatically so if coming like this so you have to press press in the keyboard space bar it will be changed direction see like this so i need this door i click here this door fix automatically this door i need again here 
I click here, it will be coming here. The store I need here. See, coming other side, I will click the, press the space bar, it will be go other side. Okay. Then I need door this one from here. Quickly, I will put all doors like this. So, see this door coming here. If you want to select and by arrow key, you can move this one here in the center. Same this one you can adjust. If you click, his dimension coming. What you want to dimension here, it will become. So, we have here main entrance, this door, this door. We have here opening. If you see in the AutoCAD drawings, in the AutoCAD drawings, when you enter here, you have door. Here you have opening only. Here opening. Here opening is no door. We will make opening there. So, this is for toilet door, small door, this toilet small, this toilet also. And here we have opening and this we have opening. So if you go in the 3D, you will see all door there automatically fixed very quickly. And if you want to rotate, just in your lab, uh, keyboard, press shift. And in the mouse, center wall, uh, wheel, you can press continue. Both like this, you can rotate, you can see here. Like this. And if you want to make again view just click here it will be show like this i will go again level one so this door one meter this door will be small if you see there this door it will be 80 centi yeah 80 centi already so this same door again go in the architecture door see this door if i click and make there it will be show big here is not showing because there is no wall. This door will be appear on the wall. So we have to complete the here wall. So I will make wall here. How will make same wall? Just select any wall. Then go here. It's create similar. I just click like here up to here. Wall is there. Okay. If you missed any wall, you can create like this one again. Then I go again in the door. If I bring door here, this is big door, but I need small. So what I will do? I will choose door, same door, but go in the edit files. Then you have to select here duplicate. I put duplicate, put other name. This door I need 80 centi. I will put 80 by 20 and door name. For example, for toilet, IT, okay. Then you have to change here size. Before 1 meter you change, now you have to 0 0.8. Height is okay. Okay. Then see again this door coming small. Now you can fix this door here in the toilet. And this door we need here. Like this. Up to you. You can change size also. Here. If you need more small, you can also choose more small. When you click in the door, this is, you know, why not coming same? This is AutoCAD. Because AutoCAD does not make uh, exact scale. We make 80 centimeters. Before maybe less or more. And also this one. When we have this one, this is coming scale. Before it's not in the scale. So I click in the door. This is coming two arrows. This if I click, it's coming outside. If I click here, coming inside. Here click, it will be other direction. It click here, other direction. You can change also there. So we have this all door, but this here, here we have opening. If you see in the AutoCAD main entrance, one, two, three, we have opening. We will make opening for three area. This area, I click this wall, just edit the profile. Then you have to select east and west view, west view. So here we need the opening. I will make like this click here. Just this is wall profile. If you create any profile inside, it will be cut for this. So go here wireframe. See here we need this opening. So I create here profile from here up to this road uh, levels like this. Okay, and here bottom side should be delete. This profile should be one. I go here gap, cut here, cut from here. Then I made from here to here, here to here. And this select and delete. See, I click in the wall. Then I make again one profile complete here without cutting. Here we have opening. I click here and go in the 3D. I just click here in the 3D. You see. Here it will be opening. See here, this is opening there already. So, one we have opening here, one we have opening here. So, I select this wall exactly and 
click edit profiles we make here opening so i will go this view i will select here north east view uh, south view sorry click here if you cannot see you can choose here wireframe see here we have this opening so i will make again like this opening from here to here then you click here you can see click here this opening you need one meter just put one meter it will be opening like one meter and this one should be delete because if i click there it will be not finished you have to this profile like this should be complete so i i if select i delete it will be total delete so i make here cut line then i make uh, extension so then you have click here when you click here this gap i click here click here so this one be removed and this one should be extend like this i make this command frame it will like this like this now you see we have one profile i fix here go in the 3d you see in the 3d here this is opening already there if you see that side view this is opening so other opening in the as per the autocad we have we fix this one we have this opening this wall opening i select this wall edit profile i will make here opening just use any view east we have this opening somewhere here so so similar same i will draw also same like this one here and i delete this one split this one from here to here then i check this two one here one here one here just delete finish and go to in the 3d if you see this is opening there so now we complete all opening from here 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 so now our floor plan is complete and if you see here like this one opening one opening you can see here opening one two three opening so now ground floor is complete i can see in the 3d if you see not proper shape just click this home you will see like this now we'll draw the staircase after staircase we'll draw the windows i will go there okay before staircase i will draw the windows go to in the window when you click in the window similar to door you will found one window here if you need more window just click in the load family you will see here click here go in the metric here have window you see many windows there choose any window which you want for example i need this window i can choose this one and click open after that here will be one panel will be open you will see this window this window size have 1.8 and this one you can click here and change your size if you want in this window 1.8 and 1.3 i will keep it same just click here okay so i will fix this window one there and one window here if i click here if you can see above coming in the center okay this room this two window this room we have this window one okay this here you can fix also this room here you can fix this window so we fix all windows there okay this is toilet you need small two windows you can add two windows also there i go in the window choose here small windows this window see very small windows click here and you click here here you will see the height from the ground so here's this is toilet window should be this one at least 2 meter 2.1 so go there just fix one window here and other small window this toilet like this okay if i now go to 3d you will see this window this is big window this is small window in the toilet and this is you have other two windows if you want to fix here window again you have to go in the window this need similar window you can select create here it will be coming automatically here same window just click here it will be coming like this go in the first floor you can adjust this one it's not center you can move in the center like this see i click here both is center so this is coming inside this outside so click here it will be go inside like this so now all window complete 
secondly this is entrance and this is entrance so we don't need this wall here because this entrance so then you have go to the modify just go here split element and cut from here and cut from here now this is center wall select and delete if you see in the 3d we'll have like this in this entrance one here one entrance here you have step here we will make step later okay then go in the first floor so we'll make staircase here so how you will make the staircase we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one step so we'll create twenty one step so how you draw here you have already staircase so you here you will make the staircase not by component by draw so go in the architecture just click on the stair when you click in the stair this is stair if you click here you can fix here this fix here but you have already this sketch you have to draw just click here when you click here it will be show other panel see here's boundary boundary mean you have stair like this riser is mean this is step stair path your stair will be go here like this so select three uh, we will use this three and we'll draw here secondly here you have to choose you have to choose here which stair you need precast or monolithic stair so i will choose this staircase so we have here 21 step so i will put here 21 step then i will draw here step so see how I will draw. Just go here in the uh, draw, create sketch. I will click here. Then we will draw here. See first I click boundary. So my boundary from here up to here. Then have here up to here. Other boundary from here up to here. Then we have here up to here. So you draw this green color boundary. Now we have step. So click on the riser and just select from here pick and select like this one all step one by one. So I select this all step here. Then so this is boundary this is step. Now you have to create path stair will be go from here or from here. So I'll click in the path and click here line. From here center, I will go like this. Then my stair will be go like this. Then will be go like this. Then just finish. Click here, finish. You will see stair. It will be draw automatically complete. Here automatically coming up. Your stair will be go like this one. If you see in the 3D, I click here. You can see this 3D here. This is our stair. But the stair coming with handrail. So you can select this handrail. No need this handrail. Just select handrail and delete. Sele select handrail and delete. So your stair will be complete here. You can see this stair. Here. Like this one you can press the your keyboard shift. And with the mouse center wheel you can draw. This is our staircase. Then we will go again. We are done. Now. So let's see 3D. Go there. All done. But this main door entrance and this door it will be remaining. I will go first floor. This door is not there. So I go in the door. Click load family. Then we will choose here in the metric doors. We will see here entrance door. We have many doors here. We need double door there. So I will go residential, click here, we will choose double door, any double door, ok I will choose this one, open, see our door is there 1.60, so I will choose this one, click here, it will be coming here, this coming here and I bring here, I need this door, just click here, door is fixed here and secondly here door, other entrance door this one, already we fixed there. So this main entrance, main door, left, right rooms. Now we'll draw the floor. If I see 3D, so then I will draw the floor. So I will go in the first floor. So 
here floor just click in the floor go right side choose any floor many floor is there what is thickness of floor i will choose this one select and click here rectangular i will draw from here like this one shape rectangular just finish go to 3d your floor fix already see this floor and this is what you see this is showing autocad layouts we will keep it because we can select and delete but we will keep it because we will draw all the boundary wall also so you see this is main entrance and this is all windows ground floor is complete and this is staircase you can see this staircase like here this is elevator ok we will open here elevator door i select here just make edit profiles i will make inside like this elevator door like this you can draw 1 meter ok finish and finish again you will see this one already can and you can change here view you can wireframe you can see like wireframe see here view you can click here line shaded it will coming like this again you can shade it it will become like this uh, shaded with color like this realistic like this Okay, I will use this one and now we will go to the first floor. I will click here, uh, shade it for example. So now I will put the finishing first in the first floor, then we will make the second floor. So if you made paint and floor walls, so flooring, how you will make flooring, just go in the modify, go here in the paint, you will see here will be material all open. Which type you need floor tiles? This is all floors available. See here, wood. Here you can see also stainless, and this one here is uh, oak. If you want to make tiles and your own tiles, just click here. Any floor I want to make floor, for example, this one. I click here. Go to to the uh, floor. Just click here. It will be appear like this. See, all floor is implied. But his floor limited if you want to put tiles just go back go in the manage when you click in the manage it's material coming here put in the materials other file will be open go here just create new create material right click rename tiles enters tile will be coming here then go appear so you have to bring here tiles then you will click here when you click here his many tiles coming click here go here ceramic tiles see porcelain tiles ceramic tiles there so you want to put porcelain tiles all porcelain tiles colors coming here if uh, other tiles it will be coming here so i will choose some tiles for example this tile i will select here double click it will be appear here and then you click again here you can change the size if I click here, this is size, this is now 20 by 20. So go there. Here you can change this size 60 by 60. You want to put 80 by 80. For example, your tile will be 80 by 80 or 60 by 60. I put 80 by 80. Done. Apply. OK. Go again, modify. Click here. Just type tiles. What your tile name? This is tile there. Just click, put here. You will see. Click here, click here, go in the elastic. See, tile is there. All floor tiles is there. You can see this. If I click, double click here and select from here, shade it. See, this all floor tiles there. But if you want to change this not floor for a whole area, this area you need something other floors, then go again here. This panel split. Just click here. Select the door, make here one window, this room, select, OK. Go again in the paint, here you need other floor, you need wood floor, just click and select here, see, wood floor coming here. So, like this one, you can split the rooms and which type you need floor, you can change this one. So, now we have wall finishing, same wall finishing, just go modify panel, paint, which type you need paint here paint need for example this is uh, yellow just click here click on the wall paint will be coming like this
but if you want to make this paint in this uh, only one room so i will show you i will make all paint inside like this just click where you want like this this it will be appear all paint just one click and will be all paint in the walls like this this if you see when you click here this all wall coming here but this wall you need to other color what you will do just again split here select this wall make one line from here up to here i click up to here finish now if you go here it will be coming paint or remove paint just click remove paint it will be remove paint here and what you want to paint just click here you need paint here for example this type color just click paste here this is coming here this is coming up to here same you can split there so like this you can change all paint so we finish the paint here so i will click here so now here i can go in the wireframe so we'll draw the roof floor for the second floor so if you see here if you want to see 3d you have to click here in this browser you will see 3d if you want to elevation just click right this is elevations okay here you can change elevation shade it like this or elastic other type you can see here and here you can see view what you want to view this one here other view wireframe or shaded this west view all elevation you will see here this is elevations okay when you click here it will be 3d coming so we'll make now ceiling this we draw floor plan we will draw the ceiling after ceiling we'll put some lights inside then we'll make the first level here is floor then we have second floor then we have roof i will go in the ceiling level so it will be coming here i click in the architecture tab then i click in the ceiling so you have ceiling here plain ceiling or you have 60 by 60 or you have 60 by 12 so i click 60 by 60 then i will make ceiling for all blue room i will click inside room see when you see coming like this so here ceiling here will be ceiling here ceiling i will make all ceiling same like this here here if i click it's coming also there but here we have staircase will not put ceiling here so in this case i will draw by sketch i will click here i click from here pick line i use this line if i click here it's coming also i draw here click here then you have to draw from here up to this up to this up to this level then you have up to this level like this like this then finish so this is your ceiling you can see in the 3d see this is ceiling coming here and ceiling levels what we put ceiling level we have we have four meter height here you see we have four meter height but we put seal we will put the ceiling three meters so in this case just select all ceiling go in the 3d just select all ceiling select this ceiling and like this just uh, select then you have pressed control all ceiling will be select then you can change here height you have three point uh, three see ceiling level coming up now ceiling coming towards so you can see ceiling from bottom here you cannot see just select this floor and you can have to hide here see height isolate element if you click here it will go there if you click again here it will be gone so reset here like this so select this one and then click height element this one so see this is ceiling you can see this ceiling from bottom or second way just click here how you will see the ceiling you can have you have to put the camera just click here like this from here to here this view you can see in the view elastic by camera 
in the camera you will see here the ceiling and this is floor okay glow go again first floor there just select camera delete camera then ceiling is done now we'll put some lights inside the ceiling because when you make dry, uh, walk through or cameras it will be appear so i will go again ceiling level go in the component in the component load family go in the lights you will see here found lights this lights there is many lights architecture lights internal lights so when you see click here all lights will be appear here so choose here which type you have to light we put 60 by 60 ceiling so this season i will put also light 60 by 60 so we can choose this light click here this light all light coming here this is 60 by 60 click here see we'll see what type coming lights this lights coming here at big okay i will choose other light just component load family and go family and the light ceiling lights i will see here ceiling light ceiling light all lights here's coming this type so i bring this light i will put this light in the each room for example this light i will click like this here here i will put one light here so you can paste this light according to your requirement here so we complete this all lights here if you see so i will go in the 3d so all light will be appear if i click in the 3d like this here so you can see the below this light is there see all light is there so how you can see when we make walk through or make 3d you can see this light there so now i'll open here all view reset here view we will reset just go in the first floor okay so we complete now ceiling and first floor so we'll go now in the second floor we'll bring here our second floor we will draw the second floor we'll start now second floor so i click second first i will make slab here i will go in the floor click here line so we'll draw floor because the roof coming on the last this is a first floor uh, slab i click like this up to here then i will not continue only up to here this level because this is a stair will not put in the stair stair will be opening then finish and i change here is height for this floor is the 190 190 cm this is slab click ok finish uh, would like to go up to the floor in the bottom uh, yes and uh, no go in the 3d if you see this is 3d here if you see this is our stair stair coming from here and already we draw this is here so above we will draw the second level so i go in the second level if you see in the AutoCAD, I open the AutoCAD here. This one we done. Now in the first floor we have like this. So this drawing I will bring there. I open again. So we'll bring this one, then we'll draw the walls. So what you will do, you have to in go in the insert again, import CAD files. Here is your files my files here in the text type click here just choose level 2 here meter here should be center center click ok it will be coming here now we have to select move this kernel click here and click exactly this kernel here so now your floor first floor coming here so we'll draw the walls here again for first floor then we'll make roof okay i go quickly here in the architecture was 200 wall i will this wall coming from up to three level center line i click here 
same like before you have to draw like this very quickly external I will draw this all walls click from here in the centers again this one from here up to this level up to here this one from up to here okay then we have from here up to this one here then we have up to here center up to this levels see in 3d what was is remaining see this one is remaining i go again level 2 so click in the wall here and draw this line here then you have from also the center when you bring mouse near the wall it will be show the walls see here center up to center here again this here center just click in the center then drag your mouse coming here I will quickly complete all walls so we complete this walls this wall also we draw and this one we have elevators we have to draw also from here to center like this like this like this let's see in the 3d what is the remaining okay yeah this wall is remaining this room this room this room here this room here this is the hall let's see in the autocad see this room this toilet this room this toilet this the two room and this we have made room and this toilet so here have opening so we need this wall the meaning so this wall is will be balanced i click again yeah this one so go in the wall click and complete this walls. so now we complete all things and we put the doors again click, click go in the doors you have to door here this door one meter already you have one meter if you click see here is one meter door you can if you want to change the name you can rename here this door is one meter okay like this one meter one meter by we have 20 this is door okay apply already we have door which we don't stay quickly we fix this door here like this here like one door here one door here and uh, go here your mouse you want to other direction this one if you see in the here see this door here this door here and this door little like here so i will put this door here same change direction it's not just press your keyboard space bar it's coming here this we have small door we'll bring other door i go again door you will choose other door this one small one just like this select and here just like this and select okay this one just select like this select okay one door here just like this one so in the first floor we complete all doors if you see here we have all door but we have one two this two side we have opening this walls i go in the 3d yeah see here all door is there we have opening one here one opening here one opening here so i select this one and go to in the edit profiles then i will go to here should be uh, east or north east uh, section see go in the wire wireframe i click wireframe and you have to make here open so i will make this opening here you can make it exact open like this one here near door like this so i will make here opening like this one one meter again i remove this one and cut from click here cut here and here and then you have to delete and then you can be this one one profile if you not cut it will be not finished then you should have finished here okay then you can see here this opening here again. okay now you have opening this one select and edit profile then go east you will see here this one again just make here one line like this from here to here 
like this and then you have to cut this line and make like this so i click this one if you go there and modify panel you will see here split element i click here and here so this remove then trim use this command and finish when you finish go to in the 3d you will see this opening this is ground floor this opening done other opening you have here if you see in the AutoCAD, we have this is in the first floor this two opening then we have this opening here so i will select this one and if i go in the 3d like this you have here north east west south so this side you can this west east uh, so north south east west so i click here east it will be go like this but before this one i have click here so this door toilet and here we have this opening so again i make this opening from here to like this one one meter 90 or one meter like this and i delete this one and split this in the center then you have to make this connection to here this one has trim or extend just finish go to in the 3d you will see here it will be opening like this so now you have complete the first floor now we have staircase go in the top again you have to draw here staircase like this one. from here so as i told you before just go in the staircase after staircase just click select here this stair then you have to draw when you have draw staircase so click here we have here 21 steps number of them 21 so then you have to here draw just sketch boundary from here to here see same like what you did in for ground floor i will make like this line after that i go riser click riser and click pick line quickly you can click click here like this all pick line this is our step you can make staircase by component or by sketch or you can modify by draw done then you have path our path from here like this like this then we have up to here then finish if you see finish again it is second floor done with staircase can see 3d you will see in 3d now this 3d you can see here this here staircase you want to delete handrail just select and delete select and delete so without handrail the staircase coming before stairs coming up to here this level now staircase going like this this first step up to here so again click top you have like this top view okay this done now we'll make roof if i go into the 3d it will be click here it will be showing like this one. so this is entrance and this is other entrance mark so this is window we'll make here window and make uh, roof so i quickly click here i will make some windows so go in the window so you have this window you want to fix this window for example one here in the center one here in the center We'll put one window here and this area you want to make small window just click here take any window from that side i have this window here i click this window just front view looks good this window one here one window you have here okay and we'll put other windows go again window i will choose this uh, window again or you have to just select similar window just put similar window here one window here one window here and one window you can put that side also if you need okay done one window from here so i will go in the 3d you can see 3d this is window coming here all what it is there so now we'll make a roof and then parapet wall and one room here it will be done so go to in the third level 
the third level is not appear what we will do if we click two level so if you see here coming level one to level two and you can see if you click here is not appear so you can then click here from level two up to level three see this is level three appears so here we'll make roof then we have make small room here and close so i will go in because this is roof now you can go into the roof you click here roof after roof just define slope no you need flat roof just click here what type you roof 120 and just create the one boundary wall above i will create this like this boundary wall this is boundary wall okay then the staircase will make again boundary wall to cut this area because there's no stair we don't want to stair here if we make stair here so uh, this one we should have to cut so i make two profile one profile and inside profile what will we do this profile it will be cut if i click here see in the 3d see this opening here automatically and this is step here coming okay this is elevator will be coming up to the top so i go in the level three i will draw here is one small lobby and here will parapet so i'll go in the wall in the walls so this wall will be up to level four so i create here in the center wall up to here then click here up to stair here i will make up to this level make again up to this one here then i close here you will see i click 3d see this is coming here this elevator will be and this is staircase so i go in the 3d level so again i select this one similar i will make this one from rectangular this this center and up to this center so this is elevator if i see in 3d see this is elevator we will make opening elevator here and this is staircase okay go in the level 3 so this window uh, lobby area i will put one door here just click in the door we will put this door like this this is door and we'll make also one window here this is the window so if go in the 3d see here i click here and this is roof area this is window this is uh, the uh, the door and this is here elevator so you can put also elevator if you want to make here uh, opening you can make opening here okay later so i will go now right level 3 i will put also parapet here i click in the wall so now i will not put here i will make unconnected wall because this parapet not up to four i will make this parapet 1.2 meter then i select again in the center from here up to here all around i make all around up to here then will be up to here at select here and see in the 3d see this is complete your build now this parapet wall this is roof and this is door this window this is staircase area this is window so we'll make here roof above so level four if you level four here it not appear what you will do just go here just click here level three and go here just coming up here so you need have to roof make here so i will click in the roof and i need slope roof will make slope roof and i select this one and i'll make here offset for example i will make here 20 offset click here it will be appear like this finish you will see in the 3d it will be roof like this here you can make up down roof up to you like this so this is our building complete now you see 3d this is the entrance small and this is the main entrance here and this is inside you can see floor and if you see like this you will see also inside if you see in the glass like this here some ceiling view what is will show in the camera just click here and save this project did not damage anything so this parapet if you want to increase height just click here and just click here you can increase also if you need 1.5 meter for example it will be coming up see select this wall 
select this wall, this wall, and this wall. And you can here increase 1.5, it will be coming high. See here. So, so now we complete the 3D this all. We'll put the finishing material. We click external and we'll make the exterior wall and make the sheets and rendering. So go in the modify panel here. So you can create any materials what you want to fix there. So I will make this roof tile first. Click here. You can change the roof tiles here like this. Here, here. This is the roof tile coming. And if you need to garnish here, also you can change the garnish like this. I will make this one. This is roof tiles. Here. Okay. This paint, I will make uh, any paint. This paint, for example, and it's not good. This paint, this paint. This will put here. And also, you can print just click, click like this. It will be coming paint all like this one. So roof tiles. So roof tile what you want. Just go there's this type. I click here. This is the flooring. This concrete flooring. Or if you need concrete flooring, here is coming also one concrete floor. This type, this concrete, this ceramic, this concrete, other type, and this is cladding. This is tiles also coming here. So all floors you can try like this. This one, see this one, all is coming there. So I put here this ceramic tiles in the top. So if you want to create material, just click in the manage materials, new material. We click here, rename, external material, I put X, OK, then EX, OK, then appearance, here we will bring some material, just click in the library, if you click library, here will coming all material, just click in the second, here you see wall covering, if you cover, click here wall covering, all exterior type materials, wallpapers and uh, paints, here galaxy glossy matte everything coming here so if you put here wall groove stone slidings paint everything like for example here i click the hair stone tiles wall paint you can find or if you want texture just make here uh, search texture paint texture paint like this one it will be coming here plastic this all paint here coming so any paint you can choose there and you can fix there. So I click here like this ceramic tiles. Let's see here which paint. This is paint. This white paint, wood paint, all. So I need stone. If I click here, this coming stone. Here coming all marble. If you need stone, I click here. Okay. We'll put this stone external side. Bronze stone, uh, this one or this one, okay. Double click, it will be appear like this. If double click this one, it will be like this. This stone, it will be coming like this. So we will put this stone. I click here, okay. And double click here, you can change the size here. When you click double here, this 20 by 21. So here, we need this from that side 60. Other side, we need. 30, 30 by 60, 60 by 30, done, apply, ok, go in the modify, paint, ex, our name, click, just click here, see, this stone coming here, I click here, this stone coming here, I click here, stone coming here, it's all stone coming here, like this, like this, like this, like this. Then click other side, rotate, fix, fix, fix this one. I will fix here, here, here. All external paint is done. And here you need same other type, similar this type. Just click here. Um, sorry. Go in the modify, 
paint here you will see you should have to search which type you put this one I click 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 here this one click here this type coming here and exterior all paint we finish this one so this tile roof tile you want to fix there just go in the paint and choose any tiles you can create also as I told you before so I will choose here concrete this one here this concrete coming up close this one so now click 3d so your 3d is now completed at all so if you click here first floor this is you have first floor this is you have ground floor and this one level 3 this is your uh, lobby stickers and this is the roof area and this fourth is roof so ceiling this is ceiling level 1 all ceiling is there level 2 we didn't create here you can also create if you need ceiling you can make here go quickly in the ceiling like this ceilings select which need type of ceiling just click inside like this it will be appear automatically ceiling all like this you can make ceiling this one here you have to ceiling draw by sketch yes it will coming also appear that area like this click here click here finish it the ceiling done so go again this is ceiling levels so in this plan you can see ground floor first floor second floor and this is ceiling levels and here you can see view 3d view this is 3d view and this is camera view which we put before this is other camera view you can here change the less relax stick inside if you make paint then here you have elevations this elevation see all detail coming with elevations you can put also dimension if you need just go here annotate and just click here click here it will become dimension also see like this so other elevations like this other type of elevations this elevations go realistic it will be appear and this is south this west all elevations there and after that so we'll go in the first floor so we'll draw the this boundary wall and we'll draw the this floor here so click again here boundary walls and boundary wall you have high two meter just click two meter and draw this boundary wall around here like this click this in the center go to up to the end here yeah. so then you will see in the 3d this is boundary line and go in the level one here we have doors so you can go in the door select here door double doors this one and fix this one inside this is door and here you have small door just choose from door here one meter and make here door like this okay if you 3d see 3d what will happen this is door height is more than this wall so you can select this wall all wall with the control panel like this and here high 2 meter just make 2.5 meter see it will be coming like this okay and see go in the first again make flooring also from that side in the 3d not appear so go in the floor levels floor and choose here floor what you need for example you need here's floor outside very thin you can choose okay i choose this floor and i make here thickness this one 10 centi okay fly then fly okay i will draw floor from here see my floor from here up to this level and other i this will draw coming all floor so because this area building i don't need floor already we have floor i click again finish see 3d you will see this is boundary wall and this is floor already there and this floor is want to make one step here just select this door here make minus 10 you see this floor it will be done like here so here you want to put other type materials like this if i select more here again go to in the first floor you can see this is uh, floor 
and you want to make wall finishing just go in the modify panel paint i will choose this paint here this paint i make this wall paint all paint for boundary walls like this one here like this okay and this done now we'll make this floor so again paint here make floors here this floor i will put this floor here this type floor here so now you can see we complete this 3d so what we'll do now after 3d we'll make the here some uh, sheets and also make the room schedule so okay i will click in the first floor see we have this one if you want to make dimension i will create the dimension just go there annotate then you have to click the dimensions and here select to wall face and here you have to select the wall entered and option you have opening no width just click here after that just select this line it will be coming dimension like this select this one it will be coming like this just select this line it will be dimension coming like this here dimension like here i select this wall coming dimension like this see i click this one here dimension will be like this so all dimension you can create here if you need internal dimension just click here first line just click here and then you have here face to face to individual just select one this one and this one it will be dimension like this this one will be dimension like this from here to here dimension like this okay and if i go second first floor here need dimension same i will click here and use here interval and click this one it will be dimension all coming like this like this wall it will be dimension here select here dimension like this here i select just click on the wall dimension like this this external if you need interior just click here then have choose individual from here to here like this click here to here like this so this is dimension you can draw like this one. so now you can see here level one this drawings here this level two first floor this is a uh, roof and this is four and this is site layout if you click here it will be coming site overall view like this here you have ceiling floor one and two and here you have 3d if you click here this 3d coming if you want to create inside view you have to go first floor then see make zoom here go to in the camera click here you can make camera from here like this view this is camera view here you can make bigger view if you want like this like this like this what you have there just click here you can see real estate here see this is staircase and this room this elevator opening okay then you have go again you want to make other camera just click here camera from here to like this you see this other camera view you can adjust your camera you need bigger or small like this and here you can see view wireframe shaded elastic this is coming other view you can remove here just click inside you can rotate also your view camera like this see you can see this you need other camera view just click here i put one camera more click here and this camera will be from here to like this it will be show like this window like this here here this one you can rotate here exactly 90 degree like this if you click here you can adjust according to you and then click here you will see here elastic this is paint and this is lights 
So or your camera view will be here like this. If you want to click outside camera from here, I will put one camera outside from that side view here. From here, okay. Just click and make like this view. You see this your building view coming like this. You can make bigger like this it will be appear or like this here i make like this so i click here realistic it's you will see this is camera view like this this is camera if you need more view you can see like this this is your building so like this you can put cameras all so you put one two three four cameras this is 3d here and this is camera one inside this camera 2 camera 3 camera 4 this is like this and here we have elevations 1 elevation 2 elevation 3 elevation 4 this all elevation you can see okay now you go in the level 1 if you want to make room schedule just right click here we we'll make duplicate view i will make duplicate duplicate view you need with detail with dependent and uh, dependent you have duplicate just only so see here duplicate coming this one level this one here so here duplicate here will make the room schedule just go there and click in the room schedule just click like here come here this room one this room two here room three four like this lobby area and then click here okay and this okay now you can see change the area i double click here this is woman hall enter this is uh, kitchen enter this is uh, living area enter this is a uh, dining dining hall enter this is main majlis main hall you can say sitting area and this is lobby enter like this okay you have change name after that just go in the annotate here fill color just click here after that just click here but it will be appear like this window what you have rooms here you have name just click here you will see here legend coming it will be show dining hall this one dining hall kitchen this is kitchen this is the uh, living area this is living area showing this lobby this is lobby showing this is hall so like this one you will see the link so this is called room schedule so right click here rename you can say ground floor room schedule s c h e d u l e schedule like this click ok so it will be appear like this here here so you have sheet ground floor first floor like this one and here room schedule so if you want to create room schedule second also similar you can create so next one if you want to put lights see here in the ceiling must be you have ceiling after ceiling you have light light you can bring from here in the component like this it will be appear our lights download go here and you will see here in the architectures this lights sun lights are lights here you can click here and fix this light i fix already this light or you can see this one if you may see the camera view you can see this light see this light how it is working go in the rr rendering you can click rr or go in the view just click a rendering here you can should we choose here artificial artificial only or sun artificial or sun uh, interior artificials just click like this i will show you the rendering in the rendering you will see that this light it will be appear system is slow if, if your system is fast it will so like this one other camera view you can see his other camera view and this we have others and this other this camera view for example i will put some paint here 
inside this yellow paint is too dark so I make this light this type paint this is paint here so other camera view you have this camera view you can if you want to change the paint you can change also paint like this and uh, this paint mm, I use this one uh, okay this paint this paint like this type paint you can use this other camera view if I make here rendering so see we will want to close this project now so here you have schedule here you have first floor second floor this third floor roof then you have ceiling levels all ceilings there then you have camera view first camera view second camera view third camera view fourth camera view then you have overall 3d this one after that you have section elevation this one here now we'll create the sheets so we'll create sheets and we'll create the walkthrough so rendering first we make rendering okay uh, i will make rendering for overview this one so when you have when you have rendering just click rr or you can go in the view just go in the rendering click here region then you will see here region like this i need this rendering overall view like this this is my building exterior view then you can have choose here medium high i will choose the medium on the screen here sun direction you can change also sun direction so here fill cloud or without cloud when you have exterior use here sun exterior sun now there's no need to lights if you see lights it will be not good so i make click rendering it will be coming here like this one see this is exterior rendering coming like this see here so i will move put here little best quality so let's see what is the result coming when you choose choose here more best it will be coming more good if you can see here this take time too much see rendering is done you can see here in the rendering click here double click you see your rendering here so if your piece is good it will be coming very good so i make one other rendering so we can change the view you can see here go in the 3d and change here other view like this on that side uh, from here that's you can see here and you can choose here medium and make rendering again i click here when you have to change you can also change here some or just lights and many other things for the sun see here shade you can change here 165 for example i apply it will be change the shade so okay then you can click rendering it will be appear again same it will be take little time but here i put on mediums so very fast coming because this quality is not coming very good so now it's done you can export and save to the project number two it will be coming here okay now i will make here some camera view this is camera view we will make rendering uh, from this camera view you can see this many camera views there this view i select that one and make rendering rr then you can also uh, select this area and you can see choose here anterior sun and artificial lights just click there in the draft i choose here draft if you choose good quality it will be coming very good quality now you can see here okay this is rendering view we make just quickly this one two three but we make view here 3d view here like this we rendering coming here now we'll put there some sheets so i click on the sheets right click on the sheet new sheet after new sheet load in the sheet you can go here <laughs> see in the usa template and there you will found the title block here this title block just click here you have all sheet all size so i will use sheet for example this a2 
I click A2 and sheet will be open. You can see here, this is sheet coming here. So here you can change name, but you have project name. Project name just double click here. Uh, X, Y, Z, any project you can put there. Your name, everything. After that, you have to make sheet. Okay, we'll make sheet one by one all. First, <laughs> I will make here this one room schedule. I just click and drag here continue so it will be coming here you will see i click here and click here like this when you click here see this is coming very small and coming outside so you will just go there just select like this after that just here click crop view then click here also crop region so go in the this area and click here again Okay, click this one and remove up to here where you need. You need up to this level like this. Just like this, like this. You see this you have you. You need this one. Then go again in the sheet. I will go in the sheets here. This sheet you can rename here. Sheet. I will right click, rename. This sheet name room schedule. S C H E D your room schedule sheet name. I click here. This number here cut and here you can put name here zero one sheet. Okay, click OK. Then you can click here again. Select this, delete, bring again here. From this one coming like this. You will see it's coming inside exact and click here. And after that, just click here. If you want to more bigger, here have scale. You can choose scale 150. If I click, it will be coming more bigger. If I select here 200, it will be coming more small. So I click 100. This coming a little big. So I click here and go to custom it. So you can choose here 120. It will be small. Put here 175 becoming more big so just click here and bring in the center like this and here this line you can want to close just select go there just click here it will be not appear so this is room schedule here showing room schedule this line just select here double click you can click here you can this one line if you don't want just click here it will be disappear like this you have this room schedule and this scale here coming what you put scale there this is our sheet room schedule then go again put new sheet just save our project new sheet again this one i took click here it will be new sheet coming here so new sheet you need uh, need first floor just click bring like this here the same procedure it is not coming here just click after that just click here and Choose here this one two like this and then select here go in the first level see this very big just click move up to here you need up to this area like this like this and you will see here again in the sheet double click remove this sheet you can bring again like this it will be appear in the correct way. So if you need little bigger, just select this one and go to in the scale. Just put here scale. I will place 75. 75. I'll put 75. Is coming 75. 75 like this. Okay, select here. Choose here. Custom it. Custom. Just go here. Put 75. It will be coming little big. And then you can have set here in the center. This line you don't need. Just select. And go here, props region. You don't need just click like this. So this is level one with all dimension. Everything is coming here. Okay, just number sheet two. Then you can change here the name. You can say sheet number two here. You can say level ground floor, ground floor, R O U N D ground and floor, and click OK. This is ground floor. Then right click again, new sheet. I will put here uh, new sheet again. 
this chair. Right click, new sheet. Okay. Then you have to bring second floor is here, first floor. Take here, bring here like this. It will be coming like this. Exactly. See? And here, just select this one. Then just click here to region. And here, see range. You can see this also coming here. So here you can put none. If you put none, it's not coming, only showing. This is your second floor. Okay, then go again here and this one just select and just crop like up to where you want. Like this and click here. Then okay. Then go again in the sheet. This sheet you have uh, rename. This sheet have first floor. First floor. Then click OK. Then you have to click here sheet. Select this, delete, bring again like this. It will be coming like this. Okay. Then select and here you have to change the scale. Just go there and customize scale. For example, 75. It will coming big and bring here the center. So here we'll go in the this area and uh, no sorry not ceiling. We go in the here and we fix this one and we go in the sheets. This is first floor sheet. Select we bring ceiling by mistake. I will go this one bring first floor. See this one. If this small, just select. Go in the scale. You can change here scale. Uh, I will go here. Put 75. This coming looks good. I will put here like this. This is here mentioned level 2. You can double click here and change your name also. Okay. So you have all sheet here. If you see sheet, there is schedule sheet. You have ground floor. You have first floor. And you can create here right click. New sheet. Again. You can bring here elevations. Elevations. Uh, I will bring this elevation 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Click 1 here. It will be first 1 here. And select. And you can here make small scale. Make 50. It's coming big. Make uh, 200. It will be coming small. So this one here. And other one coming here. Like this. So select. And change here scale. I will put here scale all 200. See this one here like this. You have this. Then you have other scale. If you click uh, here, it will be open. You can make here wireframe like this, or you can make shaded up to you. You can use this elastic, or you can use this shaded with color. If you see in the sheet. Here will be change also. Okay, other this one I will bring like this. It will be click here. Select this one and choose here scale 200. 200, this will be small here. Here and other one just bring like this. It will be coming from here. Just select and here change the scale. You can adjust your seat according to yourself like this. So we have this all view here. So if you change name here, for example, this name you don't want is you can make front, back, rear, left, right, here elevation it will be appear. And this one, for example, see this front elevations. I click here and I want to change here in per frame. Then go again sheet. See here at also change. So what you want here, just we will make here elastic, okay. Here we'll make also, here we'll make also elastic. Yes, this will be appear good and this one also elastic. And then you do the sheet, this one all elevation. So here we'll put section. How we'll make section? Just go in the first level. Go here in the section, just create line from here up to here. Like this, this one section. 
So double click, it will be section like this one. And here you will see section coming automatically here. Section one. Other section you need from other side. Just click here from that side to here. And click double click here. You see the section from here staircase. So this will be appear also section two here. So go in the sheet again. So I will make here this sections. We have this section here, one section, bring here this first section like this. I select and I use here scale. We'll go scale will go here 200. This one and bring here this scale. So this is section and every other section, this section number one, section number two, just bring here like this. I select again and here put scale. 1 and 200 and this is sections we have this sections so this line above if you don't want just click and remove here it will be not appear again just just select this one and click here and it will be not appear so this you have sheet all rename here elevations you can say elevation and sections elevations and as you see here in sections so click ok so you have this room schedule room this one then you have other sheet for 3d so i click here new sheet right click new sheet here open so i will bring here 3d also we have 3d here so first view i will bring like this it will be appear like this okay so you want to small just click select and scale here scale you have to bring this one if I bring this one uh, select to scale not coming don't know why not coming so okay like this you can fix this one and scale coming one in one here sorry here F scale one in one you can select here one and two let's see what happened what is number coming and so like this one you have all sheets here this first sheet second sheet you can see this sheet and you have this uh, 3d this elevations are sections there this camera views so all project you have all views here if you click here you have rendering view here so all view here now you have to remaining schedule if you need schedule quantity so just right click here you have to know schedule quantity just click here what you want to schedule you can make also schedule and walk through if you want to make walk through just click level one we have this level one so go in the camera and click walk through after walk through you have to make walk through you have enter from here then go here then you have to go here and you can go inside from here you can go out for example and out here and here you can make other camera view from here to like this our build so let's see finish after finish edit just see here uh, previous camera view else coming we can see here play it will be go like this camera and you can just here frame what you want and all camera view here because this need heavy pc so i will make here uh, open the watch view if you see that complete this one so this is the watch view walk through you can make anywhere just click 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 after that you can see okay now done open the work through this one and you can here change the elastic this is work through and you can also make here um, bigger view where you want like this like this okay okay and here you will see work through coming here this is work through coming here double click here it will be shown here and after that you can export 
this one and you can see click here edit work through and you can see here play when you play it will be show like this this is your work through see like this will then go i make fast because my pc is very slow and go this outside and you can see this is work through like this here so if you want to open and edit you can click there here i will make open so click here edit and you can take here path edit path you want to change this path for example this path i want to click here and i want this one path like this go here go here you can change this path up to you like this and camera view you can also change in this path i will put like this and use this camera and here you can see path and active camera it will become like this if you click here you can also change the frame you can also change the keyframe and here you can change the path where you want camera see if camera coming here it will be changed and click here see like this you can click here okay and then also path i can add path and change the path up to you for example i will add here path add the keyframe i will click here it will be changed and i can change the move path i will shift this one up to here so like this and here if i want more see like this it will be coming like this and i click here i add the key mode one key here and go in the path and select this path from here and this path i shift here so let's see now if you i click here in the bathroom just be open like this and let's see now play so it will be like this and i click in the play it will be showing like this it's going and because i create path like this one it will be go like this here this room we will then after that this one coming here out and coming like this from boundary wall and you can see your building like this so like this one you can create the work tool and if you want to export just click in the file then go here export and then you have to here animation work through then you have to select here setting how many frame you need if you put big frame it will be slow and here you want to make a rendering or normal watch if i put rendering it will be take too much time example if let's see i click here and save in my pc and it will be coming a vi file and save and it will be take too much time so okay and Maybe need more than half hour. See till now just one percent. Take time to match. I will stop this one. Uh, so I will not create this one. I will make path export if you need. So you can make a uh, export and animation path through. Here you can make like elastic. Elastic. It will become fast. Okay. I click uh, desktop. Save. Yeah. So it will be little full un uncompressed or compressed. Okay, uncompressed. Okay, it will be little fast coming like this. It will be see uh, within five minutes. It will be done. Yeah, it's done and you can see there this part through here I will open like video see this work through I did not make rendering but I make normally realistic it will be coming like this so like this you can create 
here path through. I close this one. Okay, go to my project. So in my project, now we complete each and everything sheet, walk through, 3D, elevations, ceilings, levels, each and everything. So our project is done. So inshallah, I hope so. You will uh, see here many things clear and you can see this video uh, one by one each component and you can make practice for each things uh, one by one wall doors windows so you uh, after that you have to make practice because they need practice after practice inshallah you have to able to complete your all complete drawings you can make it okay inshallah see you in the next video this is the one in uh, big nick full tutorials for revert in english so for beginners inshallah see you in the next video thank you so much